and welcome back to the Los Alamitos previous show. Well, as mentioned earlier, we lost two very important uh, segments of the quarter horse industry earlier this week. Of course, Anna McPherson, a prominent owner and married to Rod McPherson Jr., passed away after a long illness last Sunday or Monday, and also the great moonist had a complication from colic surgery and had to be euthanized last Tuesday. Certainly, we're going to have a lot of memories to share here with both Anna McPherson and Muna. So let's catch up with our Director of Marketing and Publicity, Orlando Gutierrez, for a tribute to both. The Los Alamitos Quarter Horse Racing family lost a wonderful friend and horse owner in Anna McPherson and a superstar champion in Muniz earlier this week. Quarter Horse owner Anna McPherson campaigned nearly 1,000 starters since 2004 under her own name and in partnership with her husband, the highly respected owner and longtime PCQHRA board member Rod McPherson. Anna raised some outstanding horses during her time in the sport, including 2016 Edward Million Futurity finalist AJ's Anna Smoke. She also won stakes races with Dashing BK and Bouncer and campaigned many top runners like Ask Anna and stakes finalist Big Time Wild, AJ's Anna Secret, Tack Out, Babe on the Fly, and many more. She was also a member of the Council of the Los Alamitos Division of the Racetrack Chaplaincy of America in the early 2000s. A multiple AQHA champion, Muniz was euthanized on Tuesday evening after complications from colic. Bred by Vessel Stallion Farm, the Separatist Gelding was named the Champion H Gelding and Overall Champion H Horse in 2015 and three-year-old and champion three-year-old Gelding in 2014. He won 24 of 34 career starts and earned nearly $900,000 in his great career. Muniz is one of only eight quarter horses to reach 12 stakes victories at Los Alamitos, including a record four derbies here in 2014. Muniz was owned by Ron and Gerald Harley and trained by John Cooper. Here's a compilation of some of Ed Burgar's calls of some of Muniz's great victories at Los Alamitos. Muniz is in front with a 16th to go. Here's Farniente, gonna try to pull off an upset, but Muniz not gonna let the older horses by. Muniz coming home powerful here, nine on a row for a four-time derby winner last year. But it's Muniz who's drifting inward, but Muniz is full of runs. Severed interest running his heart out, but Muniz is going to the champion of champions, and he crushes him here in the go, man, go. Muniz is running huge on the outside, but so is Ease Dash of Fire. Ease Dash of Fire, but Muniz has the advantage tonight, and he turns the tables. Muniz beats Ease Dash of Fire, two champions. De Alba, and they're widening on the field. Moon is super, super impressive. Getting stronger as the race gets longer. Probably the best older horse in the country. We're looking at a spectacular animal. His name is Moon. He shines bright once again. And Moon could not have been more impressive. He annihilates the field in her hand right. Must be two and a half, three lengths in front of He looks hot and Dr. Jess can't forget it. But how good is Moon? It's a pleasure to call this girl. Well, thanks, Orlando. And I know last Sunday, last when I was calling the races, we had Ask Anna going postward in the Ed Burke Juvenile, AJ's Anna Smoke in the finals of the Ed Burke Million. So certainly uh, Anna McPherson's going to be missed here at Los Alamitos. Well, I'm sure she's watching from up because uh, both horses, one for the Juvenile and one for the Terry. It's, it's great to have you know two horses uh, on a big night of racing that evening. Yeah, it sure is. And even mm -hmm. though AJ's Anna Smoke didn't fare that well, yeah. the horse did have the rail post in the finals of the Ed Burke Million. I'm certain certain the source is going to go on and do some great things before the year is over. But again, our condolences going out to everybody involved with both Anna McPherson and the great Moonist, who I'll no longer be able to call. Twelve stakes wins already, and certainly a horse that one of my favorite horses I've ever called here at Los Alamitos in, what, 35 years. And also, when I did my handicap in seven hours, people always came up to me, when is Moonist going to run his next race? When, when? And I keep telling them, coming soon, coming soon. Well, that's true, and I mm -hmm. kind of compared him to uh, our sport is to what California Chrome is to the yes. thoroughbreds because he's a name and when I put out the news on Twitter here this past week about the passing of Muniz, I couldn't believe the number of responses I got. He's had a huge following. <laughs> I'm not surprised because I mean he was he was my favorite. Can you imagine the fans' favorite? How it's turned out to be fantastic. Well, yeah. 
best again, again our condolences going out yeah, to yeah. all of the connections. But Les, we need to get back on track right now and talk about the remainder of the program here for Friday night races five through eight.